Special thanks to Patreon supporter Brick Bros 2016 for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, scare 204 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we will be going ahead and building the Dassault Mirage 2000. This aircraft is a French multi-role single engine 4th generation jet fighter manufactured by Dassault Aviation. It was designed in the late 1970s as a lightweight fighter to replace the Mirage 3 for the French Air Force. The Mirage 2000 evolved into a multi-role aircraft with several variants developed and with sales to a number of nations. It was later developed into the Mirage 2000N and 2000D strike variants, the improved Mirage 2000-5 and several export variants. Over 600 aircraft were built and it has been in service with 9 nations. Uh, the Mirage is technically still in service and it's been produced from 1978 to 2007. Um, so it's no longer in production but it's still used by a wide variety of um, different nations and stuff like that. As, a, as I mentioned, a multi-role fighter. Uh, the aircraft itself is overall pretty cool and a uh, new addition to our French line of aircraft was pretty much just at the moment comprised of the Raphael. Uh, so awesome design, I think it came out really good and hope you guys um, do enjoy it as well. Before we go and take a look at the aircraft itself, I want to go ahead and give a special thanks to the Patreon supporters supporting this video and making this video possible. Uh, Brick Bros 2016, um, thank you so much for making for uh, being a Patreon supporter and for making this video possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to head over to my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you guys can go and take a look at some reward tiers and maybe pledge a small amount if you guys are interested in doing so. And you can earn some cool perks uh, for doing so, like a vehicle uh, request of your choice every month. Uh, overall, pretty cool and uh, definitely worth checking out if you guys are interested. Anyways, uh, going to take it, going ahead and taking a look at uh, the... Uh, Dassault Mirage we're going to be going ahead and building. Um, it's overall pretty nice, pretty simple. It's actually smaller than I thought it would be, so it should be a pretty relatively easy build. As requested by Brick Bros, we do have a camo on this aircraft as well, which is a kind of a desert-ish camo, a very light uh, tan mixed in with a little bit of a darker tan. So uh, pretty close colors, but you can definitely tell there's a little difference. I think the oak wood and uh, sandstone actually work out pretty well for it, but of course you can do whatever the Whatever you want with it, really, to be honest. Um, anyways, going ahead and taking a look at the aircraft. Um, we have some stuff to go over for it and everything like that. Of course, the version you can see right here is all done in the camo scheme. I'll probably be doing the uh, white underbelly for sure on the uh, tutorial version. I'll be doing the darker colored nose with the spruce wood. And I'll also be doing the whole body in sandstone. Um, then I'll have a later part of the tutorial where I'll go back and show you guys kind of a basic idea of how I went ahead and put the camo on. It's really totally simple and I kind of recommend you guys do the camo yourselves just to make sure you have a little bit of variation. And especially if you're doing a couple of these aircraft, it might be a good idea to kind of do a different um, kind of camo layout as well for each one just to kind of make them each a little unique and everything like that. Um, so for the airborne version, uh, it's pretty simple overall. We got of course the camo, the cockpit up here. It's got this very... Uh, kind of big prominent um, refueling uh, probe that sticks out from the front there. Uh, we have the engine uh, intakes on either side like that. You can see we also have some various bombs and fuel tanks already attached to it. Uh, so some of these uh, larger large pieces right here are external fuel tanks and then we're, it's equipped with a bunch of missiles. Um, might be air to air, air to surface. Not 100% sure. Um, just looking at loadout pictures and stuff like that. It uh, looked to have a kind of a common loadout of this kind of design. Um, imagine probably for more of a ground striking purpose or something of that kind of sort. Um, continuing on, we have uh, the wings, which are kind of, you know, your triangle shaped wings, kind of a delta um, ish type uh, design. Uh, going ahead and moving to the back, we got, our, of course, our vertical stabilizer. Nothing too fancy about that. And the single engine um, jet engine, obviously, on the back here. And uh, that's pretty much the aircraft. As I mentioned, it's kind of a small design for it. Uh, pretty much a small design in general. I was actually expecting this thing to be a little bit bigger, but uh, surprisingly, it is not. But it is close in size to the Raphael, pretty much uh, about one, one or two blocks shorter. So pretty close in size to the uh, Raphael as well. Um, anyways, also, we will be doing the land version in this tutorial. So I'll be showing you guys how to make this thing landed and more details on how to have this thing set up for making a landed version in the future. Uh, will be, uh, you know, basically told you guys uh, before we start layer one. Anyways, uh, with that, let's go ahead and move on to our first layer, which is going to be layer one. All right, guys, so moving on to our first layer, we'll be going ahead and actually starting off with layer three. 
reason we're doing this is just because it's a little bit easier it'll be easier when we move down to layers one and two just to make the additions and everything like that that we'll be making in that layer and uh it just gives us a good working point to really start off with the build and you'll kind of see why as we do the air layers and i'll show you kind of why that's uh it's a good way to kind of start off with, with the way we're going to be doing this if you guys are completely new to my aircraft tutorial i like to go ahead and build the in-flight version and later on we will be able to build the landed version i'll talk about how far off the ground you do need to build this uh in-flight version before we get to the landed version um shortly and in addition i also want to cover that i will be building half on camera half off Basically what this means is I'll be building half of the uh, plane on camera and it's up to you to copy the other half onto the other side and to build it. Um, this aircraft is pretty much completely symmetrical besides the refueling arm in the front which, uh, which I will we'll be showing you guys how to build and I will tell you if there's any differences between one side over the other. However, whatever you see we do on the right side you're going to copy over to the left side of the aircraft and I also will be showing you the center line that uh, we will be building and uh, basically building each side onto. Anyways, to go ahead and get started, uh, we need to go ahead and make sure that we cover that this is the third layer technically. So we will have a, a total of two blocks of needed space underneath this aircraft. So this layer right here, we will need two more two blocks of space underneath this to make sure that everything fits perfectly. If you're having this thing fly close to something on the ground, make sure that's that's very important and also for building this thing if you're going to build this thing landed. To begin with, if you are having this aircraft landed, we're going to need to make sure that this is a total of three blocks off the ground. As you can see here, we have a total uh, of blocks right here, three blocks, and this purple wool right here is representing the ground level. You can see we have a total of three blocks of space in between this row, which we're gonna start off with shortly, and the ground. Very important, if you guys have it one block higher, one block lower, you're gonna have this aircraft either in the ground or up above the ground by one block. Make sure that's correct. If um, you uh, mess up now, then it's gonna hurt you a little bit later. So again, three blocks of space between the ground and this layer here of the aircraft. Uh, to go ahead and get started though, we're going to place down a sandstone uh, block right here. This is going to be near the front nose of the aircraft. Um, there will be a little bit more space of the nose coming out this way. And you can see we have tons of space on the back here as well. And kind of a good starting point to show you guys from up above. That sandstone block right there is where we're starting. You can kind of see the amount of space of the aircraft we still have left behind it. So make sure that you give yourself plenty of space and refer back to the dimensions at the beginning of the video. Uh, to go ahead and get started, we're going to place down a smooth sandstone full block right here we then want to place down a spruce wood uh, full block coming off of it followed by a spruce wood upside down stair on the front of that spruce spruce wood upside down stair we're going to place down two spruce wood top slabs uh, if you guys do want to do a different color pattern as well feel free to substitute the sandstone um, in for whatever blocks you guys want to use uh, you can also substitute in the spruce wood for whatever you want to do for the nose there uh, but you do want to make the nose a little bit of a darker color than whatever you're using for the main body Anyways, after we have that complete, after this smooth sandstone block, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and I believe 19 quartz full blocks. If we go ahead and just double check our count here, uh, we can see we have 19 quartz full blocks going back from the smooth sandstone full block. And this is going toward the rear of the aircraft. In case you haven't figured it out already, the nose is this, the uh, front of the aircraft is over here, and the tail is over here in the... Uh, in the back so just to kind of give you guys an idea of that as well after our row of 19 of quartz full blocks we're going to place down a black wool block followed by a nether brick top slab on the very end there which is going to be the start there of our jet engine going ahead and going back up to the front we're going to go ahead and place down a sandstone top slab coming off the side here of this smooth sandstone full block after we have that done we're going to place down a total of one two and three upside down sandstone stairs followed by a smooth sandstone full block after that Continuing on, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some quartz full blocks. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 quartz full blocks back down the center. Uh, followed by a smooth sandstone block. And we're going to place down a total of uh, a total of two sandstone top slabs after that smooth sandstone block. Followed by a nether brick top slab on the very end. Just like that. So we have this kind of going so far down the middle. And of course, this side right here, this right row right here, you're going to flip it over to the air side and build the same thing over to the left side. It's overall really simple. Uh, continuing on, we're going to go ahead and uh, go to our first uh, row three here of quartz uh, full box. So we're going to place down uh, a sandstone upside down stair come off this quartz full box. So right here, uh, just like that, that section there. We then want to place down a red wool block after it followed by one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten 
Smooth sandstone full blocks going back. We then want to place down a sandstone upside down stair with its front facing toward the rear, followed by a sandstone top slab after that stair. Going back up here to this red wool block, we want to go ahead and place down a stone button on the side of it, like so. After that, we're going to place down a sandstone half slab, kind of off the smooth sandstone full block right here. Uh, we then want to place down a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 smooth sandstone full blocks going back. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some birchwood planks and some birchwood uh, slabs. Uh, what I like to do here is I like to go ahead and use some birchwood to kind of highlight where the flaps are located on the aircraft. It just kind of adds a little bit more texture to it and just kind of shows a little bit of a definition of where the flaps are located. Um, so that's why these uh, birchwood planks are here. They're not part of a camo scheme or anything like that. I just choose to do it. I think it looks nice and just adds a little bit more um, variation and texture to the build really. Um, so what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and place down a birchwood plank after that row of sandstone followed by a birchwood half slab after it like that. Going ahead and continuing on, we're going to go ahead and place down a sandstone half slab coming off this smooth sandstone full block. After that's complete, we're then going to place down a smooth sandstone, uh, sandstone stair followed by a birchwood, or sorry, my bad, a uh, smooth sandstone full block like that. After that, we're going to place down a birchwood plank followed by one, two, three, and four smooth sandstone blocks back. We're then going to place down a narrow birchwood uh, plank followed by a birchwood half slab to kind of continue this all the way toward the back. Again, going out to the side here, we want to go ahead and place down um, some iron trap doors. Now, this is if you guys are putting the external fuel tanks on the side here. If you want to do the same kind of loadout I'm doing right here, you're definitely going to want to put these iron trap doors in. If you guys aren't doing the same loadout as me, then feel free just to go ahead and avoid these altogether. But basically, to do this, we're just going to go ahead and, go ahead and place down an iron trap door off this of uh, this um, sandstone stair followed by one more off this sandstone half slab and one more that sticks out past uh, the half slab like that and it's gonna do the same thing on both sides there after that we're gonna go ahead and place down a sandstone half slab after this iron trap door followed by a birchwood plank we then want to place down one two three and four smooth sandstone full blocks going back a birchwood stair and a birchwood half slab after that after that's done, we're going to go and uh, place down a sandstone half slab coming off the side of this birchwood plank here. Uh, we also want to go ahead and place down a sandstone stair, followed by one and two smooth sandstone blocks, and followed by another sandstone stair. After that, we're going to place down two birchwood half slabs going toward the back uh, to continue our shaping for the wings. For our next uh, set here, we want to go ahead and place down a sandstone half slab coming off this first uh, smooth sandstone full block, followed by one and two more sandstone half slabs going back where they're gonna place down again two birch half slabs going back as well uh, with that done we're gonna go, ahead and go back up to this section here we're gonna place down a sandstone half slab coming off the second sandstone half slab here followed by one more that goes back and again two birch wood half slabs going back on the sides here on the tips I should say we're gonna place down two sandstone half slabs it's gonna be the same thing there on both sides to go ahead and kind of complete our first layer layer three Anyways, once we have that all done, that's going to do it for our first layer. You should have something that kind of looks like this from up above. Here's a good kind of aerial picture to kind of give you guys an exact idea of what you should have for this layer. A little bit of a side profile shot and from the back here as well. Uh, so overall, pretty uh, simple, nothing too crazy. That's going to do it for layer three. With that, we're going to move our way down to layer two and then onto layer one. Where we're going to go ahead and add some of the missiles, the armaments on and all that kind of fun stuff on the bottom. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to our uh, next layer, layer two. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer 2. For layer 2, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the very bottom of the aircraft here. We can see we have the base already established. We're just going to be going ahead and building off of this and pretty much adding more onto it to uh, kind of fix it up on the bottom here. So, to start off with, we're going to place down an end rod coming off this smooth sandstone block. It's the first one we placed up here at the nose of the aircraft. We're going to place down an end rod going down like that. After that, we're going to place down two iron trap doors, followed by one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 quartz top slabs going back. We also want to place down two more iron trap doors to finish it off and carry our white um, belly to the very back. After that's done, we're going to go out to the sides here. We want to go ahead and go to our second um, quartz uh, top slab here from the front. We're going to place down an iron trap door on the smooth sandstone block on either side. We then want to place down a row of one, two, and three upside down quartz stairs like that. So you should get something that looks like this. And this is will, these will be the uh, hard points for missiles to be attached to. Um, so if you do plan on doing your own armament, you can go do something with that. After that, we're going to place down an iron trap door after this quartz stair. Followed by uh, one, two, three, and four 
iron, uh, or sorry, my bad, uh, quartz top stabs. We're then going to place down a row of one, two, and three upside down quartz stairs again, followed by one and two iron trap doors going back uh, again. After that's finished, we're going to go back up here to the front. We're going to go ahead and go to this red wool block. We're going to place down an iron trap door on the bottom of it. We're then going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten with iron trap doors. So you have this whole row filled in right here. We're going to go to our next row over on the bottom of this um, sandstone tops or half side. We're going to place down an iron trap door, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight back, uh, just like this. And we're actually going to place these place down two more, so a total of ten back to cover up the bottom of those birch wood slabs as well. Uh, now, continuing on, if you guys are wanting to uh, put on these uh, fuel tanks, uh, we will be putting these on the bottom here. Uh, so, to go ahead and begin with, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a quartz full block underneath this first iron trap door. Coming off the quartz uh, full block here toward the front, we're going to place down an air quartz full block, followed by a quartz top slab. After that's uh, complete, we're going to go ahead and go back from this quartz full block. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and um, yeah, six uh, quartz full blocks back uh, we're then going to place down a quartz uh, stair like this followed by a quartz top slab going back as well after that's uh, complete we want to go in and then uh, grab ourselves some quartz slabs we're going to place down one and two quartz slabs on the sides of this stair and the tops and the half slab here and then same thing over there just like that with our quartz uh, slabs we're also going to take a uh, cobblestone walls we're going to place down one two three four five six and seven cobblestone walls along the side here and same thing over here along the side just like that after that's complete uh we're gonna go, ahead and go to these birchwood slabs on the bottom of them we're gonna place down iron trap doors um pretty much all the way out to the edge of the wing here and pretty much on the bottom of all the remaining slabs out here on the sides we're just gonna go ahead and place down some iron trap doors so we get something that looks just like this from the bottom of the aircraft we give it a nice white underbelly and uh make it kind of look a little bit nicer down the bottom and we also have our hard points starting to get established for the aircraft itself and um, everything like that. Um, one thing we could also add on here is missiles. Uh, so we have our first missile that kind of comes into play here. And I kind of actually forgot about this a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and add this on real quick. And uh, the, basically how this works is we're just going to go ahead and go to this uh, section of the wing, which is going to be uh, right in here. We're going to delete these four iron trap doors. So we have a nice row of four there. And we want to go ahead and place down uh, basically a row of um, uh, basically quartz up quartz stairs here. And these are going to be quartz regular stairs, just like this, a row of three here. Uh, on the back of this uh, row of three, we're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull. And over here on the front, we're going to place down a stone slab with a skeleton skull on it as well. And we just want to place down a row of two here of signs on these uh, two stairs here. So one and two signs. Just like that, and we have our first missile um, kind of put out on the wings there, on the edges. Just like that, and with that done, that's going to do it for layer 2. With that, let's move on to layer 1. Alright guys, moving on to layer 1. Layer 1 is uh, very simple. We're just going to be going ahead and obviously adding the uh, armaments onto the bottom of the aircraft. So, uh, for this, uh, we want to go ahead and just add some missiles onto these hard points. So, we have these four hard points we created in the previous layer. We're going to go ahead and add missiles onto them. As you can see, I already have two of the missiles done. And it's just the same thing, copying over what we have created to create uh, two more missiles on this side. So, on the bottom of these three quartz upside down stairs, we're going to place down three quartz top slabs, followed by a skeleton skull uh, over here on the back. And up here toward the front, we're going to place down a stone slab, followed by a skeleton skull like that on that as well. We also want to go ahead and take some signs. We're going to place down a sign right here on the side like this, and also right here as well, to go ahead and kind of go ahead and make, basically finish off the missile. Um, so that's the first one, and we're going to do the same thing back here on these three quartz stairs. So again, a row of three here of uh, quartz top slabs, a stone top slab toward the front, skeleton skull on the front, and also one on the back. Also, of course, don't forget your two signs right here located on the first two top slabs connected to the stone top slab. After that's all finished, that's going to do it for layer one. And now we can move back up to layer four since we've already completed layers one through three. Uh, with that, let's go ahead and move on to layer four. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we're going ahead and uh, moving on to layer 4. For layer 4 to start off with, we are going to want to go ahead and place down a spruce wood plank on top of the spruce wood top slab on the very front here. Yeah, the spruce wood top slab on the very end, we're just going to place down a spruce wood plank on top of it. After that, we're going to place down two spruce wood half slabs that come off the spruce wood plank, going toward the front, followed by an end rod after it, like that to go ahead and kind of create the pointed nose um, and everything like that. After this spruce wood plank here, we're going to place down two more spruce wood planks going back after it. So you have a nice row of three here. 
On the la on the two uh, spruce wood planks right here, we're going to place down two cobblestone walls on either side. We then want to place down a spruce wood plank going back from those two cobblestone walls like so. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves smooth sandstone. We're going to place down two smooth sandstone blocks, followed by two black wool blocks. And on the second black wool block, we are going to want to, or sorry, the first one, we're going to want to place down a stone button on the side here. <clears throat> After that, we're going to place down two smooth sandstone blocks like this, of course, uh, work on our way toward the back. We're then going to place down a cobblestone wall on top of this upside down sandstone stair. Uh, after that, we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves a wither skeleton skull and place down a wither skeleton skull coming off this smooth sandstone full block like that. Uh, also on the side here of this wooden trap door, we're going to place down, or sorry, this um, cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a wooden trap door and close it up like that. Uh, going back from this uh, cobblestone wall here, we're going to place down a black wool block followed by a wooden trap door on the side uh, opened up on the black wool block like that. Um, after we have that done, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 smooth sandstone blocks going back like so. We also want to go ahead and take a look at the wings real quick. We are going to want to go ahead and place down a uh, wooden trap door coming off this second to last um, smooth sandstone block right here. And then we're going to place down 1, 2, and 3 uh, sandstone half slabs going toward the front. And then a wooden trap door like that so you get something that looks like this on the side here. After we have that done, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall uh, on the end here, this row of uh, this row of smooth sandstone. And we're going to place down a row of three that's going to go across and it will connect up to this area of cobblestone wall. So once you have this row in place as well, it should connect up. You should have a row of three in between these cobblestone walls. We're going to place down another cobblestone wall on both sides and have another row of three of smooth sandstone across the middle. Uh, then we just want to place down another row of three of smooth sandstone all the way across. We're then going to place down a smooth sandstone block on both sides, followed by a uh, glowstone block in the middle. After that, we're going to place down two black wool blocks going back from these from this sandstone blocks on either side and an orange stained glass block there in the middle to create something that looks just like that. After that's uh, all uh, done right there, that is uh, going to uh, almost do it for this there. We do have one last thing. We actually want to take some stone buttons and we're going to place down one and two stone buttons on these two birch wood planks there kind of forward on the wings. After that's all done though, that's going to do it for uh, layer number uh four and with that let's move on to layer five all right guys moving on to our next layer we have layer five for layer five to start off with we're going to go ahead and place down a spruce wood slab on top of this third spruce wood plank here so the spruce wood uh plank that's in between these uh two cobblestone walls right here after that we're going to place down a spruce wood stair after it like so uh we then want to place down a smooth sandstone full block with a sandstone half slab on either side of it after that, we're going to go ahead and place down from this smooth sandstone block in the center, we're going to place down and back a row of three of light gray stained glass. After that like row of uh, four here of light gray stained glass, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen smooth sandstone blocks going all the way toward the back, followed by a black wool block and a nether brick slab on the very ends. Uh, going out to the side now, we're going to go ahead and place down uh, after this sandstone half slab here, we're going to place down one more sandstone half slab going back, followed by a sandstone stair. After this sandstone stair, we're going to place down one more directly behind it to turn this stair into a corner stair. We're then going to place down a uh, red wool block like this with a stone button on the side here. After that red wool block, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 smooth sandstone blocks back, followed by 1 and 2 sandstone stairs and then a nether brick half slab on either side of this black wool block going ahead and continuing on out to the sides we're going to go back up here to the front on top of this cobblestone wall right here we're going to go ahead and place down a sandstone slab we then want to place down a birch wood slab after it followed by one two and uh a um corner stair of sand smooth sandstone so or uh, sandstone stairs like that after uh that's done we're then going to go ahead and place down a uh, smooth sandstone blo full block followed by two more after it so we have a row of three one two and three smooth sandstone followed by a sandstone stair sandstone corner stair and a sandstone half slab going back like that um, after that's all done right there that is going to almost do it for this layer we do have one last thing we want to throw on we want to go ahead and go to this birch wood slab here and place down a wooden trap door come off the side of it followed by one more wooden trap door come off this sandstone stair just like that to go ahead and finish that off once we have that complete, that is going to do it for layer 5. With that, let's move on to layer 6. Moving on to our next layer, we have layer 6. For layer 6, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down another brick slab on top of this, um, this light gray stained glass full block. 
After a snare break slab, we're going to place down one, two, and three light gray stained glass full blocks, followed by a row of one, two, and three light gray stained glass panes on the outsides of those light gray stained glass full blocks. Down the center, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five smooth sandstone blocks after those uh, light gray stained glass blocks, followed by two sandstone slabs, three, birch, or, uh, three uh, wooden trap doors, followed by a sandstone stair, followed by one, two, three, and four smooth sandstone blocks, and there's sandstone stair, this time facing the opposite direction, and a sandstone half slab on the very end, like so. So your center row should look something that looks just like that. Out to the sides now, we're going to place down a birchwood stair here on both sides after these uh, three light gray stained glass panes. We then want to place down another sandstone stair followed by a sandstone corner stair. After that's done, we're going to place down one, two, and three uh, sandstone half slabs followed by one and two wooden trap doors all going toward the back. After that is uh, done right there, that is going to do it for layer uh, six. And with that, let's move on to layer seven. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer seven. For layer seven, we're gonna go ahead and place down a nether brick slab on top of this middle light gray stained glass full block, followed by a second nether brick slab directly behind it. After that's complete, we're then gonna place down a sandstone slab, followed by two wooden trap doors, and then an end rod like that after it. After we have that done, we're gonna place down a sandstone stair all the way back here for a horizontal stabilizer on this smooth sandstone block followed by three more smooth sandstone blocks behind this sandstone stair. On top of this sandstone stair right here on the back, we're going to place down a birchwood uh, plank like that on top of it. And on the smooth sandstone block right in front of it, we're going to place down a stone button on either side. Once we have that done, that's going to do it for layer 8. With that, we'll move on to our final layers uh, for the fuselage of the aircraft, which are basically going to be uh, layers uh, 9, 10, and 11. We're going to put the top of the... Uh, the uh, stabilizer on and everything like that anyways with that let's go and move on to our last final layers all right guys moving on to our last final layers we have layers 8 through 10 so for these layers uh we're gonna go ahead and basically just be working completely on the vertical stabilizer so for this uh to begin with we're gonna place down a sandstone tear on stair on top of this smooth sandstone block behind the stair we're gonna place down one and two more smooth sandstone blocks followed by a stone button on either side of the second smooth sandstone block we then want to place down a birchwood plank on top of the previous birchwood plank like that to continue building this up. For our next row up, we're going to place down a sandstone stair, followed by a sign on either side of the stair. We will also need to grab ourselves a wither skeleton skull and coming off the front of the stair, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull like that. Go back from this sandstone stair, we're going to place down a smooth sandstone full block, followed by a birchwood plank like that after it. We're also going to place down a birchwood upside down stair coming off that birchwood plank, just like that to go ahead and finish this off right here um, like that uh, we will need to go ahead and grab ourselves some wooden trap doors uh, which we'll be going ahead and placing down one and two wooden trap doors on the birchwood plank and also the birchwood stair same thing here on both sides after that's done we then want to go and go to the top here on top of the smooth sandstone block here we're going to place down a sandstone stair followed by a smooth sandstone block right behind the stair and then a sandstone half slab after like that to go and complete it like that once you guys have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for the basic kind of design here for the uh, Mirage 2000. If you guys are interested in making this thing with the camo and also this thing landed, feel free to stick around. We're going to be going ahead and moving on to the landing gear next, and then we'll be moving on to the camo. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and move on to the landing gear, putting that on, and uh, feel free to also go ahead and skip ahead if you want to go and put the camo on it. Anyways, with that, let's move on to the landing gear. And actually, real quick, before we move on to landing gear, I want to go ahead and real quickly put the uh, refueling probe on. I actually wanted to kind of do this back when uh, we were building our layers up, but I felt it would be a little bit too confusing for some people uh, having, you know, basically building this thing on one side and then they want to copy it over to their side, but that's not what they're supposed to do. So uh, for this, uh, we're going to start off by just going ahead and taking this sandstone half slab here and place it with a sandstone stair. On top of this sandstone stair, we're going to place down an upside down nether brick stair like that. Coming off the nether brick stair, we're going to place down an iron trap door, followed by another iron trap door on top of the stair. And then we just want to go ahead and place down a sandstone slab, coming off of that iron trap door uh, like that, the top one. Just like that to go ahead and kind of create your refueling probe. Nothing too fancy for it, nothing too special, but it uh, does its job and uh, works pretty decently. Anyways, that right there is going to do it for the refueling probe. Let's move on to the landing gear. One quick thing, guys, before we go ahead and move on to the landing gear, I kind of discovered I forgot one thing that is kind of important. It Not really. It makes something look a lot better. Uh, for these external fuel tanks, I forgot to put a narrow layer of slabs on the bottom here, top slabs. <laughs> this is something I missed. Uh, this was down from layer one. So what we want to do for this is we actually want to go and go to this uh, quartz full block up here in the front. We're going to place down a 
quartz top seven on the bottom. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven quartz full blocks after it, followed by one and two iron trap doors going toward the rear. And we also just want to go ahead and uh, actually, my bad, we're going to place down a total of uh, what is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We're going to have a total of nine quartz top subs on the bottom here, and then one iron trap door like that on the end. My apologies for making that small mistake. Sometimes that kind of stuff happens. So just go ahead and make that small adjustment and you guys will be good to go. Anyways, we can now finally move on to the landing gear. All right, so if you were going to be going ahead and building this thing landed, you should have something that looks just like this with the aircraft. It's sitting a little low to the ground. It looks kind of funky, but it's what we need to do to start with to go ahead and put the landing gear on. Um, and again, we just want to double check our size off the ground. We have these missiles mounted on the bottom here. They should be a total of basically a block and a half off the ground. Uh, we go ahead and take a look more at the main body here from this uh, front nose piece right here. We should have a total of three blocks of space here between the ground and that uh, spruce wood plank right there. Make sure that that's, those uh, counts are accurate. If not, you're going to have to basically adjust it based on what you need to do. Bring it down one or maybe raise it up one or maybe even bring it down more. Um, it's very important when uh, building this landing gear. Anyways, to go ahead and get started, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and start off by breaking this um, iron trap door here. We're going to get rid of that iron trap door. We then want to break this iron trap door here, followed by this quartz full block. This quartz full block, however, is going to be replaced by a quartz upside down stair facing that direction like so. We're then going to break this quartz top stab, followed by this quartz full block. We're also going to break this quartz top stab, again, followed by this quartz full block. On the inside here, we do want to create a little bit of a floor space so we can take quartz half sabs and place down a row of quartz top sabs across like that just to kind of fill that space in to make it look a little bit nicer and we don't have a big hole into the fuselage of the aircraft. For the actual uh, leg itself, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall coming down from this quartz stair like that. We then want to place down a white banner coming off the cobblestone wall as well like that. We're going to place down a stone break upside down stair on the bottom of this uh, cobblestone wall. And I'm a little stuck here, so let me just break myself out real quick. After we have that done, we're going to place down a stone brick uh, top sub, which is going to be on the bottom here, which I actually need to go ahead and grab from my inventory. So just a stone brick half sub, which we're going to place down as a top sub underneath this, um, this uh, stone brick stair. On either side of this uh, top sub, we're going to place down a block of coal. We also want to grab ourselves a stone button and place down a stone button on either side of the block of coal as well to complete the wheels. We're also going to place down an iron trap door uh, on both sides of the stair. And we then want to place down an iron frame like that coming off those two iron trap doors with a sign uh, as well coming off those two iron trap doors. We're then going to place down a glass block in the iron frames like that to create some landing lights on the uh, landing gear. After that's complete, we're going to place down a stone brick half sub coming off this cobblestone wall. Followed by a second uh, stone brick top sub going back, kind of continuing that same kind of shape and pattern going back. And that's going to right there do it for the front wheel. With that, we'll now move on to putting the rear wheels on. All right, guys. So going ahead and moving on to our rear wheels, we're going to go ahead and put those on. So for this, we're going to go ahead and go to the bottom section down in here. Now, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and basically go to our top subs here. So we have our first kind of hard point here for our front missiles. We have this iron trap door. And we have these top slabs. We're going to go ahead and count to our second top slab back. And we're going to go ahead and go over and delete one and two iron trap doors over. We're going to go ahead and go to our next um, our next uh, top slab over. And we're going to go ahead and delete those two one trap doors as well. We then want to go ahead and delete these two or these four uh, smooth sandstone full blocks. That will be located right here. We're going to place down two quartz upside down stairs right here. Followed by two quartz top slabs like that out to the side there. Okay, so after we have these two spaces broken out here, we're actually going to go and break a third space back. So we're going to go and break this as well and place down again uh, quartz upside down stair and quartz top step. So now we get something that looks like this. We're going to go and go to the center stair and on the bottom of it, we're going to place down a stone brick top step. We then want to go and go down and place down a stone brick half step. After that's done, come off the stone brick half step, we're going to place down a stone brick stair with its back to the cobblestone wall. So it looks something like that. On the bottom of this uh, stone brick stair, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall, followed by a stone brick top slab on the bottom of that um, cobblestone wall. After that's all complete, we then want to go ahead and place down a nether brick upside down stair, come off the side of the stone brick top slab, a uh, nether brick stair on top of it, nether brick stair come off the back of the stair, and one stair more stair on top of it, like that to go ahead and do the wheel. 
Once you have that all complete, that's going to pretty much do it for the landing gear. And you'll take that same wheel design, flip it over the air side, and we'll have this thing landed and ready to go. Once you guys have that all complete, that's going to do it for the basic or the landing gear really for the Mirage. If you guys are interested in putting the can the uh, landing gear on the aircraft as well, we will be showing you guys how to kind of do that real quick. Pretty simple. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of give you guys a brief overview of how to do it and leave kind of like the majority of it up to you so that you guys can kind of go about and make your own kind of camo and different designs to kind of vary it up. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and move on to the camo. All right, so moving on to putting the camo on. The camo itself is really simple and it's a super easy design to really follow. The main kind of thing with this is that you want to go ahead and kind of do stripes, kind of wrap it around the fuselage and about, about, about at an angle, a bit of an angle, um, I should say. So to basically do this, it's very simple. I'm not even going to look at my other model. I'm just going to kind of build it and just do something different. And of course, you guys can obviously copy exactly block for block what I did for this one, or you could just kind of do your own thing. Um, this is just to kind of give you a basic idea of how to do it. It's not really to show you exactly how to do the camo perfectly. So uh, for this, we're just going to go and uh, basically swap out some of our stairs, our top stabs with oak wood. Now, this is doing the camo that was uh, requested by uh, Brick Bros. So this is the camo we're doing. Of course, you can change the colors, do whatever color blocks you want to uh, use to kind of make it your own feel free to go crazy um anyways we're just going to go ahead and basically wrap uh you know replace sandstone blocks here and there with um some oak wood planks instead as you can see i have it wrapping at about a little bit of an angle and we're going to go and have it kind of come up here to the cockpit and it's going to kind of continue to flow down this side as well and I'm, make sure that you guys are placing your stairs back correctly everything like that if you break a corner stair make sure you replace it with another corner stair um and not just a regular stair as well and it kind of wraps around this side and kind of flows and connects up over here like that. So we have a stripe that goes all the way around. We look over here, we can see we have a bit of a plain space here. So we could create a little bit of a kind of stripe up here in the front. So we can maybe place down a couple oak wood up downstairs and maybe two oak wood planks like that just to kind of add a little bit more going on right up there. Another thing with these is you don't have to do the same kind of stripes that's going all the way around. You can have it go at a different angle here. So... For this, let's say I can want to go ahead and kind of take my oak wood planks, have a, a section here that starts to kind of wrap around over this way. And then it kind of folds back over here and bends around and twists and comes up over this side and flows down here into the air intake and kind of in this section right in there. So you can kind of see here that, you know, you don't have to do the same kind of thing going all the way around. You can kind of have it break off here a little bit and have it kind of do its own thing uh, when it comes to the wings you're also free to kind of do whatever you want you can have a stripe that goes that comes from this right here and you can have a flow all the way diagonal with the wing so let's say i just want to do that so i want to have a nice angle that just kind of flows all the way through the wing all the way out to the side here and don't be afraid to replace these birchwood uh, half stabs either just like that it kind of goes all the way out to the side here maybe have a little section like that that comes off and you have something that kind of looks like that and then maybe we want to go ahead and place down some oak wood planks here and start another little stripe that goes toward the back here up like this and like that so i mean that's something you could do for the wing here um or you could just do it where you have a bit of a stripe just go for the wing so we can just do something like this where it just kind of starts from the uh, edge of the wing and works its way toward the back so something real basic like that maybe wind it up a little bit like so um, and you can even have some of the stripe from up here flow down a little bit into the wing and not go all the way through you can just have it kind of stop maybe kind of pitter out right there or something like that so I mean this just kind of gives you guys a general idea of what you could do for the camouflage kind of striping it and also for the tail fin here you can see I just have a consistent stripe kind of going up at an angle with the um, the uh, wing but you can also you know do something different Maybe have it go like this way and all that stuff and um you know just a, there's a whole lot of stuff you can do it's up to you really just to play around with it do whatever cameras you want and the brilliant thing with this is you can do a different kind of design for every single one you have so if you have like five of these at an air base you can do a different camo scheme or not really a different camo scheme but a different kind of like um pattern um to break it up so that they're not exactly the same so it's like the same kind of camouflage but you're changing it up a little bit and everything like that to make each one kind of unique definitely will add a new kind of a uh, fueling to your base instead of just copying the same thing over and over again anyways those are some ideas that's how i pretty much did the camo for it so hope you guys do enjoy it 
Anyways, with that, that's going to do it for this tutorial for the Mirage 2000. Hope you guys do enjoy this build. Again, a special thanks to Patreon supporter Brick Bros for making this tutorial possible. And feel free to check out my Patreon page if you guys are interested in supporting the channel. Um, other than that, guys, that's going to pretty much uh, do it for this. If you guys do have used this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This main thing from a side of the build to my channel or this video if this does depend on social media sites. Just be sure to give proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these videos. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. Other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.